Well, damn, son. Bobby Altov's team at WME is in overdrive. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Well, Dave Portnoy is playing the game. And Bobby Altov and him, who we didn't care who Bobby Altov was, especially in hip hop, just a month ago. But now, you know, she had an interview with Drake and Funny Marco and everybody. And, you know, people were wondering, you know, why people care? Because they're wondering, how was this person out of midair doing just interviews with all the top artists that people have to work hard to get to? Well, it's because she signed to a big agency. She's a TikToker. And they said, we're going to use hip hop to get you high. So, uh... That made uh, Dave Portnoy interested, and he had her on his podcast at Barstool Sports to get the 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 behind-the-scenes story on her. And uh, he pretended to leak that she slept with Drake and getting a divorce. Uh, You know, he asked her that on private message, and it leaked, quote-unquote, you know, because not enough people were upset that she removed her drake interview because it wasn't even that good it was a little bit funny because drake made it funny just like the funny marco one funny marco made it funny um and i think dave was kind of interested because he has a podcast that's kind of funny i forget the guy's name he does like funny interviews like kodak black drake you know that they have funny banters I forget the guy's name. He's very funny. Um, Anyways. So he says, I may be an asshole, but I know we messed up. Because he apologized to her for the way the Drake edited clip was put out. I ripped our media team apart for it. Never have released like that. Uh, I just said you didn't hook up. It's nothing at all. Till they edit it like that. Uh, then you put that on your story, she says, because this is so unfair and so messed up. Oh, now she's the victim. But she was dissing you little Yachty, like, he's so boring, and he's just not fun, and, like, it was really awkward. It's like, he did you a favor by doing the interview. Then she, then he says, that's what I'm apologizing for. I uh, didn't re- uh, personally put it up. Didn't even know it was made. Our social team did it. Freaked out when they saw it. Now, Dave Portnoy is a very successful guy. He built Barstool Sports, sold it. Now he bought it back for a dollar after he sold it. Still the president. The whole time. Uh, Drake giving away a pink Bergen bag in LA to a random fan. That's, That's interesting. Uh, okay, so here we go with the BET deal. Paramount scraps $3 billion auction of BET as Tyler Perry offer comes in too low. He only thought it was worth $2 billion. It's probably not even worth that, okay, because I think they're, I think they're really in debt over there. There's no good programming. Um, they ruined BET. It used to be decent. In the early 2000s, and then, you know, they shied away from music videos, got into some reality TV that wasn't really that great. Then they have, like, commercials in the middle of movies that that, that are, like, you know, the, the commercials are longer than the movie is. They just don't know what they're doing over there, uh, unfortunately, and I think Tyler Perry would have been a good partner. Now, they made this decision because... The benefits of maintaining a majority stake in BET Media Group creates more value for Paramount than any of the proposals we received. He, this is them just having a hissy fit because they're not getting the $3 billion they need to get out of debt from this company. Um, the source noted that Paramount has been looking for a deal which could return the asset to black ownership because it's not owned by a black ownership now. Um, everything came up short. Now, they were going to give it to Byron Allen, but they said that he was paying almost 12 times a beta, which is, uh, it's what it's worth before, uh, 
debt, you know, and taxes and everything, you know, and it doesn't make sense though. I, I, you know, it's like, why would you pay 12 times that? But then they reject Tyler Perry's offer of 2 billion. So I don't think they ever wanted to sell it because Tyler Perry will probably put a lot of effort into turning the network around. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, then we got uh, T.I. Sun being T.I. Sun, a.k.a. Corn on the Cub. Uh, he said, uh, oh, I got new teeth. Uh, Uncle Thug sent me to his dentist, and I got diamonds in my teeth now. Bro, you haven't even done anything. You graduated from college, or I think, I, or was that high school? I don't know what it was. You have a Playboy bunny on your neck. Bro, you, nobody listens to your music. You gotta be like your brother, like he's going out on his own, being low key. Come on, man. 18 year old Jacksonville rapper uh, Jake Jit passed away after being uh, shot at and crashing into a semi truck. Oh, man. Don't. Gucci Man wants to sign viral country music artist 717. I don't. I think I saw a clip of this guy. Don't sign, bro. Traps your trunks for boards. It says, but it says, uh, don't. I'm like, don't sign, bro. You might get a hit with the. You you'll be in jail by the end of the year. That's what happens to 1017 artists. It's the curse of 1017. Fifty Cent jokes will bust rhymes, telling him his chain is too big. Tell him the chain too big. Whoa, man. Tell that nigga's chain too big. He ain't got no friends. They're not telling him. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's my laugh. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, what is today? Thursday? Happy Thursday. Peace.